Hi, my name is Andrew Kopelman, one of the PSEO program's academic advisors. In this video, I'll give you a broad overview of when you have to take a placement test and when you do not have to take one. Only a few departments may require specific placement testing. These are going to be chemistry, math, and foreign languages. Let's start with math. Students must take a math placement test if you plan to take math department courses in PSEO, such as Algebra, Precalculus, or Calculus 1, and if you have not earned any prior college math credit. Some math classes in the schedule, such as Math 1031, College Algebra, and Probability, may say if you've had three years of high school math that you don't need a placement test. This does not apply to PSEO students. Even for these courses, you will need a placement test. So when do you not need to take a placement test for math? You don't need to take one if you don't plan to take math department courses in PSEO this coming semester. If you plan to take one in the future, you should take the placement test closer to that time. If you just want to take statistics, no placement test is required to access STAT 1001 or 3011, the main statistics classes our students start with. You already passed a math course through another college, such as through prior PSEO. Check transferology.com to see how your prior course transfers to the U of M and if it fulfills a prerequisite for a course you want to take here. Or if you earned a three or higher on AP Calc AB or BC. While the specific course you take at that point will depend and your advisor can help guide you, a three or higher on either AP Calc test is enough to bypass the U of M's math placement test. Next, let's talk about chemistry. As a quick note, the chem placement test is set up as a series of learning modules that you can revisit, unlike the math test that you can only access once. So I'll be referring to these as the chemistry learning modules. You should take the chemistry learning modules if you plan to take chemistry courses in PSEO and you have already taken some high school chemistry without earning college credit. You must pass the chemistry learning modules in these cases to advance beyond the most introductory chem course offered here. These modules will also help you review the material and prepare you for success in more advanced U of M chemistry. You don't need to take the chemistry learning modules if this will be your first chemistry course. You can take Chemistry 1015 Introductory Chemistry with no prior chem experience. Schedule Builder says you need high school chemistry as a prerequisite, but we've confirmed with the chemistry department that this is not actually the case. You can ignore this specific listed prerequisite. You also won't need to take the chemistry learning modules if you plan to take chemistry in a future semester. You can hold off for now and just take the placement modules as that semester gets closer. Prior college credit can generally bypass the need for our learning modules too. This is true if you've passed chemistry at another college such as through prior PSEO. Check transferology.com to ensure that the course you took can fulfill a prerequisite to continue at the U of M. It's also true if you earned a three or higher on AP Chemistry. Last, let's talk about non-English language placement testing. It can get a bit tricky to give concrete rules since many languages vary a bit here, so take these as very general guidelines. Check with your advisor when one is assigned to you for any clarification. Generally, you'll need a placement test if you have studied a language for a couple of years or more and you want to continue that language in PSEO. If you want to start at the beginning in a new language, no placement test is required. If you don't plan to take any language courses in PSEO, you can also skip this. Now note that the U of M does not grant language placement on most prior college credit earned. Even if you passed a language AP or took a language class at another college, you'd still need to take a placement test here to continue in that language. And those are the basics of when you do or do not need to take a placement test in PSEO. This was a very general overview. For more information, including details on the placement tests themselves, see the other modules here in PSEO First Steps or the PSEO Handbook at z.umn.edu slash PSEO Handbook, or check with your advisor once one is assigned to you. Thanks for watching. See you.